Hello. Oh, I think we got him. Hello, I can hear you now. Welcome aboard. All right, guys, we got him. We got him. We got him, folks. We are here right now. Hold on. Let me call you right back. I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. Well, we got him. We're closer. We're closer than we were. We're getting there. So we'll, we'll give it a shot here. They're going to give me a call back. Here. here we go. Here we go. All right. We're here. I believe we are live right now with Ring of Honor star Maria Manic, And, of course, uh, the man who needs yeah. no introduction, Teddy Hart, uh, live on the Nightwave program. How are you guys doing tonight? Can you see us and hear us perfectly? I can see and hear you. Yeah. I can't. You probably can't see me because I have to use my camera for OBS so they can see the show. But uh, I can hear so you guys fine. Can see you the whole time? No, I well, it's because it, otherwise I gotta kill the fucking video feed that's going out, and this is kind of I, I, I'm, I'm working. With all your technology and shit, that because you're supposed to be a computer guy, and imagine I'm I'm supposed to, I'm a a barely literate uh, high spot monkey attempted. Uh, according to your story, uh, murder and well, a bunch of other crazy shit. So you should be able to figure out how to be able to fucking show yourself while we show ourselves. Because I like to see your face when you talk to me. Out well, of respect, right? Well, I, I mean... I, eye to eye, even if it's online, I can't see your face when I, when you're talking all that shit. And okay. then when you're talking to me face to face, for real, I want to see your face because I want to be your friend. But it's hard to be friends with a fucking black screen. You know well, what I mean? I, I understand, but I don't have two video cards. Uh, so we'd have to so really next time just we make do this. If, I, if, I, if we have a good interview and we're cool, next time we do this, can you maybe figure out how to do that? I'll be even willing to split the cost with you on it just so you could have a better show for your fans. Because my job, the only reason I do this is because I think you must be pretty intelligent. But you're challenging me to talk to you man to man because I think you actually want to have a. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. You kind of challenged me. Let's be fair here. I could, uh, you know, I. I, I, you I called I, me a fucking murderer, bro. Did I call you a murderer, murderer, though? Dude, are you, unless you you're kidding around. Times. Unless you're kidding around, you called me a fucking murderer. You said some girl's missing because of fucking me, dude. I'm a nice guy. I tried to help her out. I can't help that literally my ex wife was a fucking undercover cop and worked for the police for 17 years and she was in the Department of Escort Agencies and Prostitution because it's completely legal in Canada and especially in Alberta. It's the way they catch a lot of dumbass child because they all go through the system because prostitution's legal. Samantha so Fiddler, great person, wasn't a prostitute. She might have been a stripper in Canada, as far as I knew. I knew her for three months before she came to Florida. I'll get so, this straight. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me let me get all right. So you didn't you didn't, her, you didn't live with her. You didn't. So you didn't live with her in 2014. You called me a fucking murderer. I never called you a murderer. I'm smart enough broadcaster to not fucking put myself in that position. So let's let's well, establish that right now. Position. We're not playing fucking word games here. You know what you implied. If I imply the black is black and the color's black, and I don't say the color black, but I tell you it's the darkest color in the fucking rainbow. And you figure out black's the only color that's not in the rainbow, my friend. So I'm not going to talk fucking black and white bullshit. You're very smart. You're coming out of the gate real hard. We're coming out a little hard anyway. and I like fast. You. We're I, coming I, I like you. I'm just coming at you. You can call me a murderer. And I, I'm joking around with you saying I want to see your face when we become friends. First I'm of all, sarcastic. nobody called you a murderer. Nobody called you a murderer. But you do you know, have. You know what you said. All right. Well, we'll get right into it. So did you? All right. I have, look, we can do it either way, but I, nobody ever called you a murderer. But you do have a lot of conflicting. Well, court, you've really, told a you lot of weird to conflicting talk, stories and you've told a lot of weird things like like you only knew this girl for a couple months. But like, let's be fair. I'm here. Did you you didn't live with her in 2014 up in Edmonton? With her and her kids, you didn't run off with her Jaguar and her passport. This is stuff I'm seeing in text messages, man. And I'm not the really? one who fucking started bro, the. No, no, no. Let serious. me fucking You're talk. Smart. This you is my fucking show. Said. Let me fucking talk for a second. Oh, you don't I'm just sorry. come let in and start talking over points. me and fucking cut a promo on me. You let me fucking talk too. Now listen, I'm not the one who fucking started these rumors. All right, all of my li ex living girlfriends are fucking alive and accounted for. So if you want to fucking get mad, get mad at Bodyslam.net. Get mad at the fucking dirt sheets i'm not the one who fucking started the rumors i do a fucking comedy show and i fucking cover shit that's fucking relevant so you didn't live with samantha and her kids in 2014 in edmonton you never you never said that they you were Am like I a family to now or are you gonna keep answering asking the same question <laughs> i've heard the question three times i'll answer all three of them did i live with samantha fiddler for less than a month you can ask Machigo go because i was dating her at the time and i was in texas i went back to deal with the trial so yeah, I beat the trial in Canada, saw Samantha Fiddler at a strip club, introduced her to my friend. She wanted to become what you call uh, some kind of wrestler or MMA star. She knew that our family and the, the girl that knew this girl, her boyfriend also does MMA. Samantha Fiddler's dad used to be a wrestler. 
trained with Lance Storm and a bunch of guys, and Ed Langley was his trainer. So I actually met her dad, and he said, she's a great fighter. I've been training her for boxing for years. She's a tough girl. She's got three kids. So I met her daughters, introduced them to my to my family because she's a nice woman with three kids. That's why I take offense when people are saying this. And I'm so glad you're a comedian guy. I didn't know that. I apologize for taking that tone. I thought you were the guy that was making up this shit. I don't know where the source of information is because I don't go on the computer a lot. So I thought this was your story that you brought back up three years later. How could this be my fucking story? I just started covering this weeks, months yeah, after this shit got are. out. So I, I should have done my homework a little bit on who you are. So I apologize. But now, what I'm trying to get through to you is that it's a simple thing for you. If you're smart, you sound like you're pretty intelligent to go, okay, after this guy explained it to me, there's no fucking way it could be him. That's sad that that kind of shit would be smeared about you because it's so far-fetched that I would be like, listen, man, I don't know what happened to her because it's three simple things. I brought her down to wrestle. She didn't yeah, want to with wrestle. Chase and did I bring her to Chase in school? Yeah, I did. Does it have anything to do with Chasen and what he had happened to him in his fucking life? Nothing. What he, he had happened to him? What, what he had happened to him? Happened to him? Excuse me, sir. Do you specify specify what he was a teenager? Happened to him? Is what happened. He, 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 he had what sex with a child. When? He had when? sex with a child. Is when? what he did. He didn't have when? anything when? happen to so him. I'm not asking about that. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking you specify. You asked. I I asked you something and then you replied back to something and I said. What happened to Jason? That's that's what happened to him because what happened to him was she was sent down there to train because he runs a good school. I'm not the fucking police and I'm not judging anything that happened with him and a 17-year-old fucking girl or 19-year-old girl, 13-year-old girl. I don't know what the fuck story was. And I don't think if you know the story that well, then deal with him. I've read the police reports. Yes, I know the story. So uh, unbelievable. So if someone fucks up in life and makes a mistake, that that's a little more than a fucking mistake. I got a DUI a couple of years ago. That's a so mistake you're drunk for the rest of your life. Then. No, 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 no. But I'm not a kid. You see the difference? Dude, well, again, you're not one is a fucking compulsion. One is a fucking. And I understand his hype talk on the internet to call a guy a kid and get a lot of heat for it. But again, there's a lot of pieces of shit that have been in wrestling, my friend. And I'm not judging anybody. Yeah, and a lot of them are involved in Team Vision Dojo. Of shit in wrestling. If Where I'm you brought a guy Samantha to a school or a girl to a school and the schools are all over the fucking planet and someone runs a good school happens to be chasing. I'm going to bring her to the school that runs a good school because I've seen him produce people that know how to wrestle. And that's all I can go on. And I'm not saying anything about what I did or he did or you did or any of our past. I'm just going on. If I'm a guy who's trying to bring a girl who's got a three fucking three K three kids on her plate to feed and she wants to know how she's going to make money immediately in MMA and maybe wrestling. Then I'll bring her to a school like Florida because there's a place called MMA and there's a place called wrestling. Happens to be in this state, you can go to the same city and do both at a pretty competitive level. So that's there, what there's I like there's like here. 17 uh, wrestling schools in Orlando time. alone. It's the, 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 the Team Vision Dojo seems to only have the one have the only one that has like fucking domestic abusers and kitty diddlers and child. Fucking the guy that just fucking murders pregnant stepmom. They seems to be a real fucking issue with the Team Vision Dojo, and there's a million other fucking schools out there. There's a thousand schools in Florida. Should then are is your argument with me for picking a bad school for Samantha, sir, or is it? No, I'm trying I, to figure I, out some of the inconsistencies in your stories. I, I caused her to go missing. You I know, you because, but listen, you said that there was no way you could have made her go missing, right? Because you were in jail. You were in jail. Yes, There's sir. no way. Rock solid alibi. Yes. The problem there is that you were arrested on December 12th in Arlington, Texas, and she went missing in November 16th, 2016. So there's there's where's the fucking where's that month? Like you the, you kind of glance you you kind of glaze over. Over a lot of big facts here. I've I've seen the text messages. You guys were together what on and off from 2014 seen, to fucking 2016. You're, 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 uh, what text messages? You have to let me know what you've seen, sir. You're telling me something. I'm talking to you, sir, because you sound like a, a rat cop that doesn't have the right information. The text so messages I'm give between. You the respect to calling you, sir, until you figure out what the fuck you're talking about. You the text talk messages lines? between Samantha and Stacy Angel. When did I get arrested first in Arlington, sir? What what when when was it? December 12, 2016, Arlington, Texas, for, uh, I believe, battery on an elderly or a kid or some shit? Uh, nope. Uh, a guy tried to burn a house down, and he had drugs on him. Security arrested him. He got away from the security guards. Two days later, he came back, said he was disabled, took it to court, and ended up getting off the charges with probation for the DUI. And the rest of it got dropped, just like the case in Canada got dropped, because there was no proof of anything because it didn't happen. And that was just December like that 12th, guy, right? Just like if you really know the story, again, with the situation with Samantha, it was impossible because she was in jail. I don't know when she got released because I never spoke to her again after I went to jail the first time.
And she got released the day before the November 16th. You your homework. You just checked one date and then said you knew something. There's a lot of things I fucking mulled over. I would like to know what they are, please. Write them down if you want. So I can She got out of jail on November 15th. She went missing the very next day, November 16th, 2016. There's a huge gap so in time, so bud. Huge gap day. in time that you're not explaining. Where were you that time? What is a, who's Andre Corbell? Do you know Andre Where, Corbell? When did she go missing? And when how do you know she went missing that day? It's she it's called the it's called the internet. Missing? There's a whole fucking case file on this girl. It's not like I didn't really? pull this shit out of my ass. Then why does the Bavard County Police Department not have me on the list as a suspect? And fucking everyone in this place is basically judges, lawyers, and cops. What and does Brevard County have to do with this? This was Polk folks. County. Pardon me? This was Polk County, not Brevard County. And you know, the reason is not... what county it was in because I'm not the one looking at the shit because I don't got to worry about it. You're trying to figure out what county it was. I'm telling you the Brevard County Sheriff's Department checked it out just to make sure because of what you said. We wanted to double check our facts before we went on here and opened our mouths like you, running your fucking mouth, acting like you're a big shot detective when you're not. Well, look, first of all, do you know Andre Corbell? Dude, yeah, I know Andre Corbell. So Cor Andre Corbell went on a, a really odd, he, he, he made a whole bunch of uncorroborated statements that uh, this girl was a junkie, she was a prostitute, a lot of victim blaming shit, a lot of white knighting yeah, you know for what? you. And it's though, a, sir. Might have been true. So you're, you, you're asserting that, you're, you're asserting that uh, Samantha was a prostitute and a drug user. I have to say, Samantha, before I met her, was doing some pretty stupid drugs. Yeah, for sure. In 2014. I don't tolerate cocaine in my fucking group. Never tried it in my life. Never took a painkiller in my life. Never tried crystal meth in my life. Never done a fucking pill besides, a, uh, what is it called? A fucking Tylenol PM? No, I didn't take that motherfucker either. Been to rehab four times for marijuana, sir. And it's a promo because it's true. Don't, I don't play games with fucking stupid you drugs. You went to There's rehab for weed? Old, I'm still doing backflips off of 20 feet and you're sitting on your fucking ass saying you're You went to rehab for weed? The only thing weed. that's funny is you're not Sherlock fucking Holmes, bro. And you're dealing with a fucking very smart guy like me who works in law enforcement for 20 fucking years on helping police officers be way smarter. What? What are you, fucking Elvis Presley fucking now? People. What is this shit? You're not, you're not a cop. Shit? You're, you're not, you're no more cop than I am. Rewind it and listen to it again if you missed it. So, no, be... Okay, so Andre, so you're you're gonna back up Andre Corbill's assertions that this girl was just a junkie and you're prostitute. You're back up your own bullshit assumptions that Andre Corbill has any reason to lie about this girl. Why would he lie about it? She was fucking mad as a. Stripper. I don't know. I she don't have a bunch of fucking. Meth, and she was smoking crack before I met her. Okay, uh, she's a good mother, but I can't uh, fucking I can't uh, sit there and agree on her choices. When I met her, we got her in shape. We took her to the gym. We fed her protein. We fed her fucking a lot of water and took her to the fucking gym and to the gym and to the martial arts facility in Canada and got her memberships, which we have proof of. To uh, I think a little place called the Leisure Center, so her kids can go swim and do ballet and play the piano. My cousin, who's a little bit of a movie star now in Canada, babysat her kids for weeks because her kids were very nice little girls, three of them. I would never fucking do anything to harm that woman, only help her out, but you can't help people that are fucking destined to be uh, to be in that situation. She had a nice job, she quit the job. She I have no idea what she did. She took one punch in the face in the wrestling thing or in the boxing thing training on her own from what I heard and she didn't like it. She said she could make her own money landscaping. Jaguar, how could a mother of three with no money afford a fucking brand new Jaguar? How stupid does that sound to you? I don't know. Again, it's sound good? It between her and Stacey Angel. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Jaguar. How can Samantha afford a Jaguar? Where did she get the fucking money from? I don't know. Where do you get your money from? Where do I get my money from? Magically medical marijuana grow ops all over fucking any place that's legalized for medical weed in the last 13 years. That's where I got my money from. Signed with WWE when I was 18 years old. That's where I got my money from. Uh, independent wrestling. No, not really. Matt Rats. I ran that. Raised seven million fucking dollars for that show. I don't know where they get my money from. My dad's a wealthy businessman. Three generations of wealth. We're Welsh, Russian, well, we have a bunch of other nationalities, Italian, Greek. I'm not a wrestler that makes money on wrestling. Just like I don't know one fucking thing about you until you cut a promo on me and tell me where are you from. Well, it sounds like you guys had a where lot are you of ups. From, man? I didn't get to it's, know where you I'm from, from New York. You it from. sounds like you guys had a lot. See, I wanted to get to know each other, but you came right out the gate, so let's just get right into it. So you you from what you've described to me, you have described a lot of ups and downs for a relationship that only lasted three months. Why do you only refer to Samantha in definitive past tense? If someone goes missing in my mind for more than a year with an expired passport. I don't think she's alive anymore. And I pray to God she is, but 
I would think something happened to her because she's a pretty good mother, and I think she would have got back to her kids somehow, at least, or talked to her mother or her dad or somebody because her dad loved her a lot. He was a great guy. And I'm saying this in past tense because I don't know if I'll meet him again in the future. To me, every day is my first day and my last day. I live that life basically based on I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I try to plan for a safe day, but I can't predict what Samantha Fiddler is going to do when she gets out of jail. I didn't get her put in jail. Wasn't anywhere near her. So if you really want to get more into it, again, call the cops, do Crime Stoppers, set it up, and they'll do the same thing that anyone other detective's already done. And they say, that guy can't be the guy that did it. And he's sure he feels shitty about the situation. But you're taking work out of my fucking mouth and my hands because I talk to make money in wrestling. And I motivate kids by running a pretty good wrestling school for 20 years. And I've helped a lot of guys get into wrestling business or get a good match. Okay, but and I don't know if you're a big wrestling fan or not, but I try to be a guy that risks his life so guys like you clap and go, that guy's cool, man. It's totally fake. This is shit's complete work. And he's actually jumping off the top ropes like a fucking moron just because so, some guy in the audience is clapping for him. But so nobody's denying majority. you're a talented guy, Teddy. I've said it on my own show. But there again... Because that... I want to make you smile, my friend. Because I want to make you believe in me. But not think I would ever hurt a kid or a girl. That's never something I would do. But I know, but it's that's exactly the kind of things people say. And again, that. I've never accused you of anything. I have gone off of... you want to, Like I said, you want to take it up, take it up with bodyslam.net and take it up with the people who made really all these fucking Twitter threads and take it up with really the people who have been contacting me. These people want to really know why it. you say you only knew this girl for three months, but you fucking knew her, her back in tw- you knew her back in 2014 and in Girl, 2016 you're doing fucking here, Rolling man. Stone articles with her and she, Dude, you're, you're, she, she's your protege. You how long I knew her for? I knew her for three months. Then she came down to Florida. She came down to Florida with us. I didn't see her for another month or two after that. Then I came back again Daddy. and she was still down here. Check Come the storylines on. on it, bro. I'm sorry if I said I've known her for three months. I only was with her for three months. That's how much time you said I spent with her. That was on two different vacations that I went back for. So I went back and forth, not to see just her, to deal with my court case. So, yeah, I just got off two charges in Canada, and I'm about to fucking kidnap and take Samantha Fiddler and take her Jaguar, which she has zero credit, no money. She can't afford to, to get fake tits, so, but she asks us because she thinks she's going to fight, and we can make money as fight promoters because we have been fucking promoting fights for 25 years, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and my family's been doing promoting of fighting and making money off guys and girls and midgets and giants and all sorts of other shit. I bring a fucking cat to the ring for fuck's sakes, dude. But I make money off promoting things. Samantha Fiddler, great story. Mother of three, boxing champion. Her dad's an ex-wrestler. See if we can give her a push. My friend likes her. He wants to date her. They're the ones that wanted to hook up. Not me and her. So that's another thing that people have. A dis- she was never my girlfriend, and I wasn't fucking her. So now that's she, another so, thing people... Wait, now she was never your girlfriend? Dude, she was never my girlfriend, and I wasn't fucking her. That's the, that's the other thing people fucking think. She, was, she liked my friend. She was with my friend. The only reason she hung out with me was because my friend and his kids and her kids were always dealing with the situation of if they stay with him, where do they want to live? And she didn't want to live in Canada anymore. So he said he'd take care of her whole family and everything would be cool with her. And she said, that's fine. I'll talk to my parents. And her parents said they'd take care of her kids instead. So she got permission to leave the country, basically, from her parents who were watching her three kids and safe hands to be a wrestler and to be possibly an MMA fighter. And she she said MMA was her thing, not wrestling. She didn't like wrestling that much, but it was a backup plan. So that was all we're trying to do is just get her a few fights. And, dude, she did her own thing down here. And that's all, and that's all I can really say to you about it because my interactions with her would be sparing me. She lived in a fucking mansion down here with some guy from Chasen's wrestling school and another guy's wrestling school and St. Laurent, I think, and they, those guys ran a school. So I think that was the only one of their students that they had a house. She stayed at that guy's house. It was, was a complete asshole from what I heard to, to that guy and his family. All right, look. So, he kicked her out. so, so why is it that Rolling Stone in 2016 says, beside him, speaking of you, Sam Fiddler, his wrestling student, come girlfriend, rests sleepily in a triple XL purple fur road, one of the many outlandish wrestling costumes her mentor, come boyfriend, has at hand. Now, if I'm not dating somebody, I'm going to tell the fucking magazine, hey, ooh, I'm not really dating this girl. <laughs> Isn't that a correction? Great point. Great what? point. Great point. Okay, I, it's I a totally point. It was a question. Can, so I make, do you, can I talk now? You just made your point? Or do you want to finish? Please continue. I waited for you to talk. So, Rolling Stones, I wish it was all true, but it wasn't. So, they decided it sounded better than girl that just met Teddy Hart that wanted fake tits because she was a good stripper and sucked my friend's dick. For real, that's the story. And my friend liked her, so he wanted to buy her fake tits, so he did. 
and uh, he got me a Jaguar to drive down to Florida because he thought I was going to leave Samantha Fiddler uh, with him, and he was upset after that he got the Jag for me, and too bad for me. I have good friends, and I'm not the only one that doesn't fucking make the payments. Samantha has zero dollars, so I make the payments on my car, and I drive down there. She wants to get a ride down there to do MMA so and wrestle, possibly. You know, and they, they could my just... kids are taken care of. Can I come with you? Sure. My kids are taken care of. So some hot chick that my friend's fucking hanging out with, and he wants her to do well, and he's a sponsor, and he says, "Yeah, I got her. I got her taken care of. I'll help her kids out if she needs anything anyway, so we don't we don't have to worry about it." She, and she fucking has an opportunity of a lifetime, and decides to fucking blow it. And now I'm hearing about it. Yeah, of course it's disappointing. But I, maybe I knew her for a total of what I guess five months total, but three months I was hanging out with her, and nobody saw me kissing her or fucking her, or doing anything with her. I slept over at her house. I slept in her bed. Remember, there's another story. My dick doesn't really work either because I've been uh, taking anabolic steroids uh, on and off since I had a prescription when I was 32 years old. So I've never been a guy that really keeps a wife because usually they just end up getting to be back to what they wanted to be, which is lesbians. Most of the girls I date are lesbians. I watched she... enough Maria yeah, and Ted true. videos to know that your dick works, Ted. Come on. Uh, it works for Maria now. Because... He's lying. What a coincidence. <laughs> what a, it's a Christmas I miracle. Admit that he's lying. I didn't say I had a lip dick for you. I'm saying that my dick didn't work. I, well, I also fucking am a lot smarter now with stretching. And a lot smarter after going to jail for fucking a year. He said I've watched enough Maria and Ted. So what I'm saying is, why doesn't why doesn't why doesn't Rolling Stone? Because I know you're like, because they because Rolling Stone couldn't Mm. say student and girl who was sucking my friend's dick and bought a Jaguar or whatever. What about just student? What about like just his student? Right? (laughs) Yeah, it's Teddy, and he's got his student here. Wrapped up in his robes, laying around his house. (laughs) Come on, man! I just beat a charge in Canada. A huge charge, lost my million dollar house waiting, and I, I actually beat the charges again. Was it considered it was a joke? But if you get charged for something, you have to go to court and fight it. So I beat the charges, but during that time, she had a house. We paid the rent. We paid for the car, not hers, not ours, but hers and ours. And paid for all the groceries and helped her out. And that was that was the simple, we're just people that are trying to help her out. But we didn't, we're not pieces of shit. My family's been helping people out for fucking years. The Casaleas family's been helping people out for years. They're a big fine. You know, he's the one that took care of all my cats, 37 cats of mine for four years. He ran the cat sanctuary for me. And that's where Samantha Fiddler went. And that's who she's friends with. Like, and he's, he'll say the same thing. Like, she was a great potential. Her potential was unbelievable. She was a very smart girl. And it was a fucking brutal thing that happened. But she had problems. Wait, what was brutal? Before. What was brutal? Dude, the... The situation of having three kids and being all stuck by herself, basically, and, and nobody really going to be able to help her out. The guy that was her boyfriend was actually a stand-up guy and took one of her kids. And I met him after, but from what he said, she had a problem with the other guy from before doing drugs with him. And he went to jail for it. And he was a, he, I'm not going to say anything bad about the guy, but I, wouldn't, I would think you'd call him a piece of shit. I'm not going to say anything more than that, but I don't think from what I hear of your moral standing and how you think of something, and I apply... I have credit and a respect for how you think something. I'd want to know the truth. And if you want to hear me talk about that instead of wrestling and fucking other bunch of crazy bullshit wrestling stories, and this is what we want to talk about, cool. Eventually, we'll be talking about something else. And you probably will end up being my friend, I would think, because we've had a, you know, a three-hour lecture or talk or a decision-making uh, process where you're going to go, yeah, yep, yeah, no, yeah, and we'll talk about it until we have an understanding of the situation. And you still might say at the end of this thing, I don't know what, I, I don't know if you did it or not. By you the know, way, but, for the record, I don't I, I don't have an opinion on what happened or didn't happen. Now, I I, I wasn't it? there, I didn't see it. But again, I've had some pretty contentious relationships and all of my living former girlfriends uh, are accounted for. So, you know, when I have people telling me, hey, you know, no, he lived with her up in 2014 in Edmonton. Ask him about that. Ask him about the Jaguar. You said there was no Jaguar. Two minutes later, there's a Jaguar, but it was your Jaguar. Was no Jaguar. There's a lot of fucking shit no that's just very, no very Jaguar spoopy. Ever, dude. dude, it's so stupid for me to say there's no Jaguar. I drove the Jaguar down here. It's a $100,000 fucking car. Of course I would never say there's no Jaguar. So have you been in touch with this? Have you been in touch with this girl's family at all? Yeah, you have. Absolutely, absolutely. Her boyfriend, her her baby's mom, and the dad. So and not her parents, but the guy that actually has kids with her, the one that has Victoria, I believe. And that guy spoke to me, and we basically looked at each other, and he said, "I know absolutely that you have nothing to do with it. It's it's not. I know how Sam. I know how Sam is." 
And I said, dude, I did everything I could to help her out. I gave her all the opportunities that I could give her. I had my own life. I had a girlfriend in Texas. I wanted to go back and get on with my shit. All she needed was a place to stay. She had that. And she fucking fucked up with that. And she wasn't smart with the situation regarding vehicles. And not my Jaguar, not a fucking chance. She didn't get, it wasn't her car. She didn't have any money. Nobody was giving her shit. She could drive once in a while because we're letting her drive with us. I thought we, I thought she was a crack smoking prostitute. Dude, no, you guys said she might have been before she met no, us. No, you said she was smoking no, crack when we met her and she was a prostitute. Said, actually, you said Andre that. Said you, it, you said that. Dude, Andre Corbiel said it. That's what you said. And I said I had to agree with Andre Corbiel's probably not lying. You want to ask me when I thought that happened? Years before I met her. She told me. But I, before, I don't do fun. I've never smoked crack. Have you, have you done cocaine, my friend? Oh, of course. You're a fucking loser then, dude. Don't talk shit to me, motherfucker. Yeah, I had never passed the, passed the test. I walked through fucking 19 funerals and never did a line of coke in my life. So now we're going to talk about a fucking respect thing. I've never done hard drugs. She had done coke and smoked crack before. According to me, that's basically fucking Samantha's in a lot of shit with God, if you believe in God. So I helped her out, but I couldn't help her out if she's going to get fucked up in Florida. There's nothing I could do, dude. I'm not a fucking babysitter. She's a grown fucking woman. She knew how to get her fucking ass down here. She knew how to make phone calls up until she wanted to get fucked up and left or stop calling her family and disappear. But because I talked about her in the past tense, just the only real point you've had to say that makes any sense, I don't think she would do that to her family. I pray to God nothing happened to her or happens to her, but I can't fucking, if I'm betting money on the situation, you know, what do you think happened to her? I don't know. I had no she contact with this woman. I don't keep I don't keep company. I don't hold court with scumbags like Chase and Rants and Russell Stephen Rowe and these other people. I don't I don't well, surround Stephen myself Rowe. in that sort of dysfunction. Who's Russell Stephen who's Russian Russian <laughs> Russia Stephen Lowe? Or whatever you're, uh, he's he's locked up in that lovely county of Brevard. He's another uh, Team Vision Dojo guy, another kid diddler. Not me though. I never said you're a kid diddler. I'm just saying that you, the Team Vision Dojo is the best school. That's where we send our girls, right? But that's where all the, yep. you know, people that kill their fucking, allegedly kill their pregnant stepmother, like that Anselmo guy, and Chasing Rance, and his brother, and fucking Russell Stephen Rowe. It's just, Teddy, you could you could at least level me and say that, yep. look, you are a, 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 a an unusual fella. You uh, You don't live a very conventional life. Uh, and you, you have been known at times to be a little eccentric. Am I, am I off base by saying that? Not at all, sir. Not at all. And, and were you not doing videos with Chasen? Really? Like you say like, oh, I barely knew Chasen, but were you guys not doing custom matches with? No, with I never did. I don't think I did customs with Chasen except for one time ever, maybe way back in with Luke, but I never did customs with Chasen by myself. Under the name Teddy people. Trouble? No, I might have done Teddy Trouble shit, but I don't think maybe Jason ends up putting the tape through his guys to get it released. I don't know, but I wasn't doing personally with Jason. Jason's one of the guys I've known him for a long time, but on and off because I've only come down to Florida for maybe three or four days at a time. Five times, ten, maybe, maybe five times in 10 years I came down. But if I ever saw him, he'd be the guy that might pick me up at the airport because he came up to Canada and he trained with us. And he seemed like a nice guy then. And I would imagine he helped out a ton of guys after whatever happened with that girl. I always say the same thing. Fucking that shit's fucking crazy, man. That's not the smartest move, and it fucking is going to cost you probably for years. But you know what? I'm not going to hold anything against you because fucking it's not my spot. I fucking feel probably like if it happened to me, fucking I'd have to go through hell. And if it happened to you, maybe it's a stupid thing. But down the road, I would hope that you're somehow vindicated or forgiven if you actually be a, a good person after that. And Jason seemed to always be a good person. He fucked up. But then after that, I saw him help out a lot of people. You just, know, and that's all I can say. He might be a piece of shit to you, but I saw him help out a lot of guys, man. That's all I can say. You know, I mean, I'm not getting involved in what happened because everybody fucks up. You know, I fucking I feel terrible for a lot of other things that happen in wrestling, but sometimes guys got away with it, and sometimes guys get caught in shoot interviews later where guys talk about shit that happened. And it's like, man, that's fucked up. You know, and I hear way more fucked up shit that it happened with this, this you know is... other wrestlers than it happened personally with the chasing situation. So again, all I can do is go. There's a place to train. She wanted to do MMA. The Florida, play, the Florida MMA scene is the best, from what I was told. And there's some people that are down here that do all the amateur wrestling. I know all the families. They do everything. She was lined up to, to do MMA and have some good fights. And she knew she, has, she, knew she was going to get punched. It's for real. And once she understood, I guess, what it was, she didn't want to do it. So she got a job landscaping and was proud of – she was happy. She, I remember she said she was – and that was the only time I even talked to her. It was one practice. And then after that, she said she's just going to make money landscaping. She gets 180 bucks a day. 
and she got a job through somebody that was doing uh, photography work in uh, in Chasing School and a bunch of the other shows. So that was last time I talked to her. But there's this recurring theme, like in your videos, and when I when I talk to you right now, there's this weird like recurring theme where it's like how it affects the person who did the thing like with you it's like oh samantha disappeared and now i'm paying for it i'm losing gigs when it's chasing rants it's like oh so he pressured a 15 year old to fuck him without a shower and he got caught on tape with the cops trying to get her to fucking recant her story but it affected him like oh man he made a dumb move and now it's going to cost him the rest of his career like it, there seems to be though? there seems to be little Is to no cons though? there seems to be little to no consideration for the victims or alleged victims in these cases. I what about Samantha Fiddler? What about her kids? What about the young woman who chase and rants, who's been convicted of fucking multiple times at his home? What about like, instead of worrying about how it affects chase and rants and his fucking school, what about a moment to, cause you keep playing it down. Like it's this little thing. Yeah, he made fucked up. No, I got a DUI once that's fucking up. You know what I mean? I've been in a fist fight here now and again in my life. That's fucking up. But I've and never, I've never in my life a brought a 15 year old girl into and my fucking home and pressured them into having sex with me. And then was recorded on the phone with the cops trying to pressure her into <laughs> recanting her story about fucking me. But you're not recanting. Did you ever smoke crack, by the way? Or did you ever, you didn't get that far? You just yeah, no, coke? I free based a little coke in my day. But again, I didn't fuck kids and none of my so girls are missing. And, and coke and not crack. I free based shit. coke. There's a difference. Crack has too many editives. Teddy, I, Teddy, I don't believe for crazy. one second you've gotten all Come this on, way man. in life and only smoked man, weed. You can lie to us all you want, but you're lying. You have a habit of stretching the truth. I am an honest man. The only difference Let's between be you honest, and me dude. is I'm, I'm an open honest, book. Dude. That's fucking stupid. You have a I'm different story every if time. I was your dad, I'd be disappointed to hear you say that you freebased a little coke. What was so bad with life that you decided to fucking flush your brain down the toilet for 30 seconds? That's that's what it is. My life was bad. See, listen, Teddy, the only difference between me opening man. up no, about my life, man, but though. you're not. Well, no, you I am a real man a real because I actually man, tell people about my fucking life and my mistakes. You make no mistakes in your own mind. Every time you're you, fucking man. cutting a promo, it's just, oh, this is, oh, what was me? Everybody's mean to Teddy Hart. Oh, I didn't do know, anything. And everybody's just mean to me, even though I know show events and I know show Triple A shows and MLW fired me for no reason. Because I'm MLW innocent, Teddy Hart, and I never did anything I wrong to anyone. I I've seen you pick cats up by their fucking party. tail. I yeah, they generate. So yeah, I my fuck. So I could do my own fucking shit. MLW was nice enough to give it to me. It's an angle, dude. We're trying to work fucking people to make money. Oh, Come so on, they didn't fire you. This is just an angle. Because you're trying to humiliate a guy like me. I'm trying to be your friend. Not you humiliating I, you. I, you I fucking you people ask to come on this show. Coke. This now show. I don't need guests on this fucking show. You think I need to book Teddy Hart? I got a thousand people winner, watching the show with or without you, man. Would you recommend telling your student? If you had a mentor and you're a Jedi master and you had an apprentice and the guy behind it, you know, you wanted to impress him, would you tell him to smoke crack and do coke and fucking be a drunk? No, Jack but I Dawson certainly did. wouldn't lie about my own fucking experiences, unlike present company, because I'm sorry, dude, nobody fucking believes that you made it this far and, and act this weird and, and babble this much nobody. nervously, now you're, now and you're, you're not, and you're not maybe a little, you uh, you come on, come There's on, man, come on. Like not a, maybe a lot, maybe more people like you than me. You never busted your knee and took a pain pill? Come on, you're dude. Fucking wrong. You're not perfect. You try to present yourself to perfect, in a way though. where you're you perfect. My, you, you watch my fucking miss record on wrestling moves for you who claps for me because there's no extra bonus for hitting the moonsault off the top or the full twist or the fucking split leg to the floor or Brian Cage giving you the F5 off the top ropes for fucking 800 people in a bar show. But 8 million people are watching it over the next 10 years. So I think I'm wrestling in front of the whole fucking world. So guys like you can go... That is kind of funny, that little fucking prick's been dropped off his head on cages and off the cement, and he's still walking at 40 years old, and they said the Dynamite Kid did a lot of crazy shit. I'm just asking you to watch my highlight reel and put it up against any motherfucker on the planet and go, and I never got paid to do any of this shit. I get your point, Teddy, Mexico? but nobody here ever said that you're a shitty wrestler. We just, there are many people that are under the impression that you're a shitty guy. You're a shitty person. You're not perfect, Teddy. You're a megalomaniac. I've met types like you. I've met a million people like you in my life. You're a dime a dozen.
and gives guys fucking help and pays money for and, other guys' boots uh, and helps guys get I on know you, you're good at putting yourself over, Teddy. A lot of By people do all. A people lot of people help people dude, and they don't record. fucking bring it up every time wrong. they're called into question, Teddy. Than me. Dude, I told the truth, but I never fucking lied about shit, and I don't have to lie now. I cut myself in fucking half on TV by talking shit 20 years ago. I'm not stupid, but I don't ever. I never had a bad match or hurt one motherfucker in my life. If I wanted to be a wrestler, I would have shut my mouth and done fucking probably the right thing, which is trained a little harder in the gym instead of doing gymnastics and learning how to fucking do moves by watching figure skaters and dancing. I've invented more moves than anybody in the wrestling world, dude. Not to be a fucking hater, but the only reason I'm talking to you is because someday you're going to have to come out and hang out with me and go to a fucking bar and have a drink and look me eye to eye, and you're going to say, man, I couldn't fucking believe I talked that much shit to you. And See, I'm going to say, no shit, dude, but I like when you challenge me because you have to create a friend for life. I'd like you to have to watch a highlight video after this. Just one, I'll send you one. You tell me after that if you think a guy like me is going to hurt anybody and God will let me fucking live or walk after. How many dumb moves have I done off the top ropes, dude, to the floor? It's in God's hands. I always say that. In your hands as a fan, you keep me safe. See, that's so I would, another. I would rather have your blessing when you're watching me wrestle that you don't want to see me get fucking hurt. I don't want to see anybody get hurt, Teddy. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't have it well, in for you. Uh, what hurt. I what I have it in for is, is that you, you are know, you is... are you are a bit of a megalomaniac. You do Maybe. have a tendency to babble a lot, contradict yourself, put yourself over a lot. You like to tell people about all do. the good things you've done. You say a lot of weird things that like like God is with me and God is ordained me and all this weird shit. That's fucking crazy people me. talk. Never, That's never crazy said, people said, talk. Might have blessed me with a fucking lucky streak of moves. And 25 years of safety, because people like you have a special power, I believe, that you keep me safe. And all the wrestlers that actually work hard, you fans have a special power when you watch. You keep us safe, because no, I've never seen another sport where guys should break their necks and be fucking dead more than indie wrestling. And somehow indie wrestling has kept these guys alive now, and all the best wrestlers on TV are all from indie wrestlers. There's no superstars that were just created. Everyone that came up basically came as an indie wrestler. And that's because people like you, if you're a real wrestling fan, you somehow gave us a force field not to get hurt. So that's why I even give you five minutes of my time, you know, just because I'd rather have your fucking love and respect down the road as a fan because it's one more guy protecting me from a wheelchair. People simply want the truth. That's what all. What more can I give you, my friend? Between, what more bet all want? right, so between November and December 2016, well, where are we at? What shows were you doing? Where were you at? Because that's a big gap, bud. That's a whole month this girl went missing before you were in a jail cell. I was in Costa Rica at exact time, like four years. Like, can you honestly look back to four years ago at one month and be like, "This is exactly what I was doing"? Yes, right yes, now, right yes, then. Maria, that, Maria. It's it's it's, well, it's called doing. It's called doing my research. It's called doing my facts. I, I actually, unlike you guys, I showed up on time. I prepared last night. I got my note. Like it's, it's called, you know, um, it, you know, no show and events in Mexico. Dude, just to answer the question. Where were you? When I told him, I was like, yo, let's do the podcast. He was laughing. He didn't want to fucking talk to you. Come on. I'm I literally had no interest in doing this, but I was like, hey, I think it's good publicity. Like we'll get our name out there a little bit. Maybe get a little viewers. Maybe we should do it. No, I still think this guy <laughs> has to end up being my friend somehow. He just, he's still trying to be feisty. No, I think it's funny that you prepared notes and you thought that we gave a fuck about this. No, I care about it. I care about it. She doesn't understand because I think you're, I think you're a guy that's going to end up being a Teddy Hart spokesman. You're going to say, man, I fucked this guy over by talking that much shit to him and realize that I don't contradict myself and I never said I was ordained. And if you're, that, if you're as smart as I think you are, then you and I have to have a real conversation at a bar and have, let me buy you a meal and hang out with me for a couple hours. And make sure you get home safe and then call daddy or who mommy or whoever you got to call or your friends and say, I, I made it home with Teddy Hardy. He ended up giving me a hug. The guy was real weird. He gave me a jacket and he said, you're, you're the only guy that challenged me on the truth. If I'm a piece of shit that would hurt a woman, definitely challenge me. But not my thing, dude. That's all I'm not say. saying you hurt anybody, but I am saying that you can't account for times. There's time gaps. You're, you're literally, there's literally published articles in Rolling Stone disputing what you're telling me, which is that you never dated. Disputing your own words. In your own fucking video a couple weeks ago, you said, oh, I only dated her for a little bit, but whatever. So it's it's literally, it's a dating different story every time. Dating is someone you're kind of on and off seeing. It's not serious. Dating. Girlfriend, boyfriend is like this. I don't know how okay, well, he said he never fucked her. So that's kind of... Just because I wasn't having sex with her doesn't mean she wasn't, I guess, with me, but I wasn't having sex with her. So that's all I can tell you. That, that was the situation. I wasn't fucking having... I wasn't fucking dealing with that situation. She was already doing... It wasn't worth... She needs a fourth kid? I'm not gonna... I, I already have the girlfriend headache in, in fucking uh, Dallas. Trust me, man. I wasn't trying to get another headache. 
Do you understand no. that when 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 you see many 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 uh, written accounts in in actual legitimate media calling her your girlfriend, <laughs> and now it's now she never. It's like she never. Well, by by this time next year, she won't even have existed. It'll be like, oh, I never said. met her in my life. I don't even know who that is. Never said that though. You're trying to spin words again. I don't know why you keep trying to spin shit. If you really think I did it. I haven't spun you, shit, Teddy. You got to slow down with the fucking weed, bro. You got to slow down with the fucking weed. You don't even remember what you put out on the friend, fucking internet. Really, I've given you enough time on it. No, I don't. I'm not giving you any more answers. I talked to the cops. I talked to judges. I have a lawyer involved. You can say what you want to say, dude. I already said what I needed to say. So it's if you want to talk about something else, I'm cool to talk about it. But if you keep bringing up the Samantha Fiddler thing, for me, it's been addressed. I gave way more time than I wanted to on it. And it's been addressed. What the fuck so do you, you think we're going to talk about tonight? How to properly not. tuck your chin when you're taking a power bomb? Like, of course I was going to talk about this. You come up right out the gate. I was going to give you guys, I was going to front load the promotion part. Hey, show the belt and talk about your channel a little bit. And then you cool. fucking, and then you just came out the gate screaming about murder. So, of course, no, I'm going to go into the murder thing. Hey, Teddy, somebody wants to know, are you a Freemason? Are you a Freemason? Is that another question? Do you want to talk to the guys that I work with? Is that a free? So you're, oh boy. All right. So that's all right. So you're free, mate. So that's can fine. You, can I give you the number? I'm going to give you his phone number because you, um, and he's just no, going to tell you. Yet. Don't give numbers out on the air. Do not dox phone not? numbers on the air. Because you, you want to challenge it, then you better call me back after this phone call is over on a private phone line and then give me a call and obviously text me who you are and your number. And then you can call my friend and just ask him what I represent. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, look, guys, we're at the top of the hour here. Do you, you want to promote anything? Yeah. You, when are you going to come out and do a vlog with me and Maria? Bye. And what city do you live in? No, we'll get into that off the air. It's fine. I'm I'm easy to find. But just so, do you guys want to promote anything? I'll be in touch. Don't worry. I'm not a stranger. I haven't shied away Dude, from you're anything best yet. for life, man, because you're going to have to be proven wrong. And then after that, you're going to owe me an apology and a hug. And then after that, you can come to Six Flags with me or Disney. I hope you ride roller coasters. And fucking have a friend for life because at least you gave me an hour of your time and you seem like a smart dude. I'd challenge the shit out of it if I could. If I actually thought it and it's worth it for you to talk about just that, then I, you must have a few other things you want to talk about off the air. I hope. Do you smoke marijuana now? No, of course. Yeah, I don't. I don't do cool. any oh, cocaine or any God. drugs Thank anymore. God. So we at least we're so anything. at least we're back. Yeah. Can we can we ask you? Some we never questions? got to ask him anything. He just tries to yeah. the whole time with this shit. Do you guys oh, want to promote anything? Books. Twitter? Now, you want to promote cool. the? Do you want to promote the channel? Do you guys want to give a? Get any shows coming up? The, you know, promote it out. We got a, like um, over two thousand people watching right now. Um, Ring of Honor this weekend tomorrow. Yeah, she's got the Ring of Honor show. Where are we tomorrow? Atlanta. We're in Atlanta tomorrow. Was it Center Stage? Is it? Is it, it called? Is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. And then Sunday. Where are we Sunday? Where is it? Five hours from. It's my schedule. I have a bad memory for dates. That's why I have these silly, Actually, you're silly, open it up. these silly iPhones. So he's very slow on the phone. All right. Well, so, at at Teddy Hart is back on Twitter. If you guys want to follow them there, Maria and Ted's Unfiltered Adventures here on YouTube. You guys don't need any introduction to that. Of course, you can track them on there. And uh, Ring of Honor this weekend in uh, Atlanta. If you guys are going to be, is that a pay per view? Well, is that a I, is that like a pay per view type deal or? No, just a TV taping. All right, TV, TV taping uh, in Atlanta. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys coming on. Thanks for joining me tonight. We'll we'll do it again. We'll, we'll be calmer next we time. Need a, we need a part two for sure. That was hey, not. Can I? Uh, can I ask you? You're are you out of time or do you have time? Well, yeah, we're at the. It's eleven fifty one. The show ends at twelve, so I got to do my uh my little ending, you know, donations and stuff like that. Okay, cool. And I uh, this when you have some time, give me a call after if you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. You name me up. That's fine. I, whatever. It's fine. And you're not you're not pulling any tape recorder shit because I would imagine that that's just, just so I ask you ahead of time. Like I wouldn't be trying. If you want to tape record conversations, we can both just say at the beginning of the conversation. We'll no, if I'm, not, if I'm not on the air, I fucking no, it's fine. I, I'm not, if I'm not on the air, I'm not rolling tape. I'm not some kind of cop. And I certainly look, despite what you think, I don't have it in for you, man. It's just that there is a lot of inconsistencies and people wanted them addressed and i have a uh i have a duty to my fans just like you do to your fans i understand that's why that's why i'm asking you after you you can we can talk more and then you can figure it out and then if it's worth it to you to be that that guy that really wants to find out the truth it's really easy for you just to come down here and then you can understand after that 
it's impossible for. But what what can't you tell me? Uh, what is what has to be private? Like that's what's weird to me. It's if the truth, the it truth be should private? be fucking. I don't want to. I don't want to bury some. I don't want to bury somebody that's possibly dead or missing. Well, you already called her a crack party. smoking prostitute who barely I, saw her I, kids. I, so I mean, I don't I know what else is gonna be listen, like. That's listen. That's about, that's why I said I didn't want to have to go that far. But I didn't say that. Andre Corbill said that, and you're asking if Andre Corbill's lying. And I said, I would have to probably agree that she may have done that type of stuff to make money to feed her three kids, which is probably pretty terrible. But I don't, you know, and, and prostitution is legal in Alberta. So it wasn't like she was breaking the law. She, she, if she was doing it, she probably had a license or she was working at a strip club and she was making money doing other shit in the strip club. That's probably what that would be. That's, that's what that means. So. All right. Fair different enough. Than this, different than in the States. You All know right. what I mean? Just different rules. So. Well, look, man. I'll be in touch. Let me uh, let me wrap things up, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 talk soon. I promise. Yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy, man. So I'm happy you gave me that talk, and maybe we, again, I'm not hoping anything crazy, but if we can be friends someday, that'd be pretty cool. Because I would hope at the end of the day, uh, once you're done this fact searching shit about her, which is admirable, but you get on to being friends with me, or we never talk again. Because you know, what I mean, one of the two has to eventually happen. So. All right, fair enough. Thank you guys so much, uh, Teddy Hart, Maria Manic. Uh, that was, uh, whew, that was something, huh? <laughs> that was, uh, whew, that was actually uh, got hot, got a little hot, didn't it? And again, look, I wanted to be not. You guys know, I mean, I've I've been telegraphing this for days now. I've been saying I want to, you know, I wanted to be uh, respectful. I wanted to come out the gate a little slow, you know, a little foreplay. He kind of came at me a little hard. I kind of went back a little bit harder. Uh, it was a lot of, a lot of people came in very hot people coming in hot. So, uh, that was, uh, that was something else, man. That was a, that was definitely a, uh, a night wave for the fucking book.